Judy Berry, the controversial environmental activist who fought to save California's redwoods, died at her home in Willits today after a battle with cancer. Berry came into the national spotlight back in 1990 when a bomb exploded in her car as she and fellow Earth First activist Daryl Cherney drove through Oakland. They were on their way to recruit students for a protest against logging redwood forests. Police and FBI officials arrested the pair, accusing them of planting the bomb themselves, but no charges were ever filed. Barry believed the bomb was planted by people working for the lumber companies, and she was suing the FBI and the Oakland police for what she called a cover-up. We have the testimony of the FBI's own bomb expert who says that the bomb was hidden under my car seat and triggered by a motion device. Uh, we have the, the photographs of the very nails that they say match that don't match. We have all of the lies that they told. Barry's attorney, Dennis Cunningham, told Channel 2 today that Barry's estate and Daryl Cherney will continue the lawsuit, but it probably will not go to trial before September. A longtime friend of Barry's said today that Judy was considered a bridge builder between environmentalists and loggers. What she did was turn this campaign against, uh, between the environmentalists and the logging community into a uh, community concern. And the discussions that occurred, especially in her region, in the Mendocino-Humboldt County region, um, were very far-reaching. She was even involved in instigating changes in forest practices uh, up in that area. Barry retired from activism last November when she found out the cancer had spread to her liver. She is survived by two daughters. She asked her supporters to remember her with a celebration after her life. Fellow activists are planning the event for next week, probably in Ukiah. Judy Barry was just 47 years old. San Mateo Bridge at 6.30 in the morning. Welcome back to The Morning Show. Good morning. And environmentalists are mourning the death of one of their most powerful leaders in Northern California, Judy Berry. She died at a Mendocino home of breast cancer. Those who knew her say she made a difference in their lives and in the environmental movement called Earth First. Greg Liggins has more. Judy Berry helped organize rallies like this one, which aimed to protest the logging of old growth forest in Humboldt County. Barry fought big corporations that she accused of stripping the Earth's resources to make a profit. Former California Governor Jerry Brown says Barry's work made a difference. There was just a, a determination and a focus. Maybe some people might call it uh, almost obsession, uh, but it was definitely she was on the case. She cared, and out of that caring uh, was the source of her power. Some say Barry's power nearly led to her death. On May 24, 1990, Barry and fellow Earth First activist Daryl Cherney were nearly killed in what has been called an assassination attempt. The two were inside Barry's car riding down a street in Oakland when the car blew up. Within a few minutes of the bombing, um, there was a campaign waged by the FBI and um, with the compliance of the Oakland Police Department to label Judy a terrorist and to try to smear Earth First. Well, <clears throat> the bomb was not supposed to... Uh, uh, have any malfunctions. It was supposed to kill her and the reason it didn't is because an end cap blew off. So they weren't expecting Judy to stick around and publicize what happened afterwards. So she started this case against the FBI. Barry and Cherney filed a lawsuit against the FBI and Oakland police after she and Cherney were arrested for illegally transporting the bomb. But neither was charged due to lack of evidence.